Hi guys, it's Laura and I'm here again with another plan with me. So for this week I'm planning from June 5th to June the 11th and the kit that I'm going to be using is from Paper Chic Co which are on Etsy and the kit is called Shine Bright. This is the freebie that comes with the kit and I'm really busy this week but kind of boring busy it's just house stuff busy so I wanted a kit that was really pretty to look at and to keep me motivated throughout the week. I love this kit with all the colours and all the pretty floral patterns so we're just going to get on and start this plan with me. So as usual I'm just going to trim down the bottom washi that is usually for the Erin Condren just to cover up my date dots in my happy planner. So this kit doesn't come with the day covers so I'm just going to leave the days of the week so you can see them and then I will actually fill in the dates a bit later because I completely forgot to do that while I was filming this plan with me. So again day by day I'm going to start with a mint green today header and then I was just choosing which half box to use and I went with this nice pink floral one. On top of that I'm just going to add a mint green page flag on its side and then I'm going to layer a laptop sticker on top. This is just to mark down that I was going to be uploading this plan with me in the Monday morning. I also just want to quickly apologise because this plan with me, I was actually doing it on my bed because I couldn't get to my table where I normally do it, so it's a bit kind of wobbly and I'm really sorry guys, I will be back to a solid surface next week. So underneath that I took a piece of my glitter washi tape because you guys know that I love my glitter tape and I just laid a but first coffee sticker which is also from Paper Chic Co. Then I moved on to my to-do header which was pink and a full box and then I just kind of made myself a little banner here just to mark down that I was going to be doing the boring housework which is pretty much going to take me all day. I then took a floral kind of circle page flag and layered on top a house icon sticker. Next I took two strips of the patterned washi which there's only one pattern washi in this kit but I just wanted to use it behind this pink appointment label and then on top of that I'm also going to layer a washing machine icon just to mark down that I had a lot of laundry to do. We have just finished the half term so you can imagine what my laundry pile looks like with three children. Then I stuck my Little Things header down which is light blue in this kit. So in this kit all of the today headers are green, all of the to do headers are pink and all of the little things are blue. This week I've also decided to track not only my fitness but my dinners too just to see how I get on. So for the TV programme I had Bob's Burgers, I also had an Etsy delivery expected this day and for dinner we were going to be having a vegetable omelette and for my exercise I'm going to try and do some crunches. A little bit TMI there, sorry. So for Tuesday I went with the pink to-do header and then layered down a checkbox. And then just jotting down all of the things that I needed to get done on Tuesday morning. I also stuck a little paw print icon down by Book the Vets. I don't know why that didn't pick that up on the camera. So then I stuck down a quarter box and I wanted just to use the laptop. This had a laptop and the writing laptop day. So I just cut off the writing just to use it to remind myself to edit Wednesday's video. For my today section I just put down a today header and then chose a full box which is so pretty it kind of matches the top washi which I love and um, my son has actually got a or had a trip on this day I have decided to cancel this trip because there's been another attack in London a terrorist attack I don't know if you guys are aware and he was supposed to be going to London this day and I just think today I may cancel that just to be on the safe side he has got another trip coming up next week so I don't feel as bad by letting him down because I don't think he'll quite understand why I don't want him to go but um, while I was planning this plan with me this was all kind of going ahead and he was still going to be going on to this trip moving on so I'm going to lay down a half box and then I'm also going to use a small grey page flag and on top of that I'm going to layer an asterisk and this is just to mark down, I have got a heating inspection at my house. And I'm just using my Silver Sparkle washi tape just to mark off some time for homework. You guys know that I often do this in my planner just to make sure that I've given each of my children enough time for me to help them with their homework. So I do like to mark off a section of time. 
So for another hair dye I just used a piece of plain washi because I didn't want to be matchy matchy along the top row. And then I just took what was left from the washi that I used at the top to cover my date dots and I just used that as a background behind this half box which I put onto its side. And then on the freebie there's also a clean brushes icon which is so handy because my brushes are in dire need of a good clean. Then I just took the thick piece of pattern washi to mark as a header down for my checklist. So I just chopped off the top few boxes because I didn't need an extremely long checklist. This is so wobbly guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just writing down the things that I needed to do on Wednesday because this is my upload day. So underneath I just put down the green today header and then I chose a nice full box just to mark down a chunk of time that I needed to upload my video and promote it and all the rest of it. So I just laid on my YouTube sticker. I did try to just use the stickers from this kit without pulling in a lot of other stickers. Obviously the YouTube sticker and the little boy icon on my son's trip aren't from this kit. They are from my collection. But other than that, I tried to keep solely in this kit. So moving on, I'm just putting down my little things, which was a TV icon, my dinners, and I forgot the dinners on the Tuesday because I'm not used to putting them down, so I quickly added that one. And then also my kind of workout one. So for dinner on Tuesday, we were having spaghetti. The TV thing was Pretty Little Liars. And this day we we're having pasta salad and it was going to be a leg day. So I'm just adding this one back into my planner and taking out the next part of the week. So I'm going to start with a today header, which of course is green. And then underneath that, I'm going to put a piece of solid washi or two pieces of solid washi because I wanted it as kind of a, like a little background behind my half box. And my son is in a play at school and he needed to take in his kind of play clothes or play costume. So I needed to mark down that he needed to take this in on Thursday morning. And then I also just drew two little masks, like kind of the drama sign that you see, one smiling and one is crying. Underneath I put a blue, or is it grey? I think it's a blue appointment label and on top I layered a car icon. Underneath that I put this full box, which is probably one of my favourite full boxes. And then I put a page flag on its side and on top I layered the credit card icon. So I needed to pick up my car before going into the city to do some shopping. Next I took a solid half box in pink and then just took a really thin slice of the sparkle washi tape and I just wanted to mark down a nice piece of time that I could sit down and answer any comments and kind of generally just be on social media. So I also put down a little cup icon which was also on the freebies. For my little things I had a TV program. I also put down a little asterisk. Uh, I needed to put my down my dinners which I nearly forgot and then a workout so for my TV I had Grimm I don't know if any of you guys watch Grimm but I'm loving that uh, I had to put the bins out I had chicken mats for dinner and on this day for my workout I was going to count how many steps I took while I was up the city not physically count I have a little step counter I also needed to mark down that my son had play rehearsals as well and I completely froze and I couldn't remember how to spell play rehearsals. I got there in the end though, just had like a brain freeze. Moving on to Friday, I put down a to-do header and a mint green checkbox or checklist, however you want to say that. Then I took a solid piece of washi just to write down a kind of subheader, although I really didn't like the way that I wrote organize. So then I ripped that one back up and used a heart little things just to write down organize again <laughs> and I was just writing down a list of things that I really needed to get round to organizing it's things that I keep thinking oh I must do that and then another week goes by so I definitely needed to do my pantry clear out all of my cupboards and clean them the drawers and my desk using some more of the washi that I covered up my date dots with I'm just putting down two strips as a background behind another half box Then I'm taking a really small mint green page flag and then layering a shopping trolley icon and then writing down food shopping. 
because normally by Friday my children have eaten me out of house and home and we have nothing left, so I definitely need to stock up before the weekend. I also had a bill due this day and then moving downwards I just put a piece of solid green washi and a thinner piece underneath and laid on top another half box which I've turned onto its side. I like laying half boxes onto its side because it just visually creates something a little bit more pretty or decorative in your planner if you turn boxes onto its side so you should definitely try that out if you haven't already. For my little things I just had a TV program and obviously my dinners and for the half box I'm just writing down clean the car because that really needs doing, embarrassingly needs doing. I had keeping up with the Kardashians and we were going to be home making some pizzas. For the weekend I put a double strip of washi down across the whole Saturday and Sunday as a background behind my weekend banner. Then I just stepped down my full box and on top of that I half box because we usually do something on a Saturday and I wait to fill that in until I know what we're going to be doing. Underneath I laid this great checklist down and then wrote down everything that I need to get done on Saturday which is just things for my children, getting things ready for school and homework and things like that. Underneath I'd put a quarter box which was in the pink and an icon with a coffee cup this is also just for homework, obviously the coffee is for me to sit down and go through three lots of homework. For my little things I put down a dinner icon, a TV icon and an asterisk icon. And then I also use some more of the top washi at the bottom. So for dinner we were going to be having soup, I was going to watch another Grimm and I wanted just to doodle some ideas for some stickers. And at the bottom with the washi that I put that matches the top but I just put I need a nap sticker down that um, my camera had switched off and I didn't realise. So for Sunday I just trimmed down a full box to a little bigger than a half box and then stuck this large but first coffee which again is from Paper Sheet Co. Underneath I put my to do header and a pink checklist and I really didn't like the grey checklist that I'd done on Saturday so I, I just pulled that up and stuck a grey checklist down. Now I'm just rewriting everything that I needed to do on the Saturday. Then I just moved back to Sunday and wrote down a few things that I knew that I wanted to get definitely done on the Sunday, ready for the next week. Using the leftover piece that I cut from the full box at the top, I'm just using that at the bottom and then also reusing the laptop day sticker where I'd cut the laptop off and a coffee cup which again is from the freebie just to mark down that I wanted to spend the afternoon on the laptop catching up with some YouTube videos. So moving on to the sidebar, I'm just using a full box to cover up the calendar at the top. And then underneath that I'm just going to put the last piece of patterned washi. And then I like to put my habit trackers down and I just left a really thin piece of white background or white space between the washi and my habit tracker. And then I'm also going to be using two habit trackers again this week so I'm just putting a piece of solid washi in between them. For one of my habit trackers is for Instagram so I just put one of my own Instagram stickers down and then the other one is for my face wash so I just used a heart icon as there was no face icons in the kit. Moving on I'm using my next week header which was grey and a mint green checklist or checkbox. Then I'm also going to be reusing the same washi from the top so I cut it down to size and then I just wanted to split that in half which I could have used my scissors, I don't know why I used my trimmer but I'm just using that behind this to buy sticker. Which I was really struggling with trying to get it in the right place. I don't know why that's given me such a hard time. I also stuck a little pound icon sticker at the bottom corner too. Using my last full box, I just filled up that space and then cut off whatever was overhanging. So because this kit doesn't come with any quotes or anything, I decided just to write my own on top of the full box at the top. So just write down, have courage and be kind, which is one of my favourite quotes. Mm. 
So I'm just labeling my habit trackers. The top one is for Instagram and my second one is for the face. Then I'm just writing down the things that are going to be happening next week. I have to have a next week section, otherwise I'm really lost and it really helps me out. So if you guys don't track what's happening next week, maybe you should give that a go. For my to buy section, I needed to get some presents as I had a few birthdays coming up and some bed sheets. So here is what the spread looks like. And here is what I've got left of the kit if you are interested to see. So I have used up quite a lot of this kit, but I do have some left that I will be keeping and maybe I will do a spread with leftover stickers. This is a close up of the spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next week. Bye guys.